It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and the grand reveal in Poway. Hannah is moving. Um, <laughs> yeah, she gave up her lease and she's coming back home to live with mommy and daddy to save money. So that's exciting. We're so happy to have her. So she's really busy today. So I told her not to worry that I could handle the final video. And here it is. So, crap, we have that sun again I'm gonna be turning right into. So pardon the glare, I'll try to get through it as fast as I can and get back over to this side for now. All right, so the project ended right here at the corner of the house. And we will pick up again over here at some point. I don't know if this will be our next phase or not, but you can see our client so funny. She's like, yeah, people can see that's where we ran out of money. So funny. Um, but yes, so we brought in the Cali Gold 3 8 and we made a nice little delineation between the Cali Gold and the DG. You can hardly tell. It looks really, really clean, very, very nice. And the tapestry is gorgeous just so happy and you know I did some Mel did some Miguel did some Hannah did some so yeah and Greg brought in uh, some new lights so they can have a evening illumination they sent us a photo the other night of the lights and they looked great so Greg is really really good at that um, let's just walk around here so you can see it this has all been irrigated too we had the the um, subterranean drip was already here get out of this but we added above ground micros just to be sure that everything would get sufficient water and we're in winter time now and i know you know we don't do a lot with winter in san diego but it still needs you know we don't get a lot of rain, so this will still be set to go off. Whatever the client, you know, wherever they had their irrigation programmed before will be fine because clearly everything was getting plenty of water. And over here. And you remember from day one and two how much rock we had? Do not skip, skimp on the rock. You can just never have too much rock. Honestly, as always, there were a few places where I could have I could have used more. Let me get you around the corner here. Look at this glauca blooming. Isn't that so pretty? It throws off such a spectacular, big, beefy bloom for such a small aloe. It's really an overachiever. I like it fun with Pacopodium. We've got three in the tapestry all together and lots of fun mangaves. I believe this one is called Ink Blot. Okay, and then I'm going to come over here. And also remember we decided to leave these grasses and I'm really happy we did. It's just a little simple, very simple break. You know, I like them. They're very, very soft. So we're going to come around here Thank you, Julian. See ya. See ya. I can come around, maybe get the sun behind me. Yes, there we go. Oh, you're probably wondering about the tree stump. Yes, I put a euphorbia in here. This one, polygala, right? Um, this type of euphorbia, remember it grows, it grows out. So it will own, oh, somebody put a little, some little rubble in there. That's very cute. Um, it will own, 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 own this, this planter in no time. Greg ran a very long drill bit with a hole about this big around down through the pot. And it exits way down here. I don't know. I can't even see the hole. It's down here somewhere. I don't know where it is guys but there is a hole way down low uh, where the water can drain 
So yeah, what we did up here was we added a lot of plants. We took out a lot of plants, I should say first. All the ugly Senecio vitalis and the Senecio serpens, those came out and we put in more beautiful things. And now this beautiful, beautiful outcropping looks absolutely gobsmackingly gorgeous. And the tapestry, it plays so beautifully off of that. I wish you guys could be here to see this in person because the video never quite does it justice. And you know, I left the grasses. I left some of the moly grasses or the deer grasses or whatever those are. Yes, I did. Okay, and then over here, let's go this way. And I will show you Mel and Greg. And we'll come down here and take one more look at phase one. We, uh, we added, remember, more. I had Miguel and Hannah on this. They added more Portolacaria minimas, more also agave attenuatas that they pulled from around the property. And uh, Gordon got in here and beefed up this retainer. It held pretty well. But I thought it just looked a little weak. So we added more rock and now it looks beefier. We took out the bougainvillea that was pouting up here and just added some more attenuatas. And this is gonna fill in so beautifully. Then over here, client wasn't really happy with the pots and the plants that were in them anymore. So I redid them with plants that I brought for the tapestry. I've got the agave or the Dazzlerian wheel arii as my thriller. And then I've just got the spiller in the middle pot, the Athona capensis, because I thought that looked better than trying to make these too matchy matchy. But in phase one, I tightened this area up. This euphorbia was in a pot over here against the house. It was very heavy and very precarious. And we took it out and we added a mound of barrel cactus and I moved the euphorbia here. Or maybe this euphorbia was already here. I don't even remember. I think this was here. Was this here? Yeah, I think so. Did we just remove an arm? I don't know. It's a blur, forgive me. But it just doesn't matter. It looks great. And now you can see this perspective uh, here's the, you know, here's the front door there. And th so they're walking up here. Here's their garage over here. So they see this every single day, back and forth, back and forth. And it is just so beautiful from every possible angle. I'll let you kind of soak that up a little bit. And we'll be back for more phases. I'm going to talk with our clients today before I leave to determine what's next. You know, this... Uh, giant property and it's really just a question of where they're feeling like they want to go next and we shall go there so we have a seasonal maintenance in Del Mar on Thursday today is Tuesday so I will see you for a thank you Kevin thank you Mel I will see you guys for a walkabout Wednesday in my garden tomorrow and then we'll see you at the maintenance on Thursday. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with my fantastic team, DFS, and the grand reveal of Phase 2 in Poway. Bye, guys.